My name is Max Cash. Yes, that's my name as far as you're concerned. I'm a humble servant of the mortgage business. What that means to you is that I can take your existing house, your investment property, second home, hand you a bunch of cash, and make you more money than you can think of, and you will thank me for it. How I do that is my business. That was not me. That was not me. Okay, here. Uh, hold on one second. Hi, Tanisha. Is Max in? Uh, he's in his office. He's got clients in there. Can you let him know I'm here, please? Hello? Max, you've got Tammy here to see you? Yeah, tell her I'll be out, uh, out in a couple minutes. Thank you. I'm sorry, Miss Rodriguez, you were saying? The last time we refinanced, they charged us like 15... 15,000? 15, yeah. $15,000. We don't know anything about this stuff. The man on the telephone said that he could reduce our mortgage payment and give us some money for my baby's college. The man on the telephone, the best in the business. We usually get them right out of high school. Give them 10 bucks an hour and have them call the list. The list is a set of names and addresses of every homeowner with their contact information and some more detailed information about you that you don't need to know. Let's just say with this package on a good day, I make about 50 times the $5,000 investment of the list itself. You see, the office that called my poor clients used a farm list and got lucky. And if you want to know what a farm list is, call your friendly, clueless realtor. Based on the documents you signed, the men on the phone charged you about $15,000 just in fees. Mr. Reed, Pierce Butler, call center manager. Well, I want you to know that you're not a customer, you are a client. Now, those fees are broken down in different sections. There are broker fees, processing fees, uh, discount fees, lender fees. We saw that. I yeah. told Jorge, but he just said those were professional charges. Well, they are. And they're all going to the man on the telephone. You see, in a normal circumstance, I would not divulge this information. But since my client already got fucked, I can ensure that they never refinance with anyone ever again, except with me. Don't worry, Miss Rodriguez. We will solve your problem. I'll get you payments you can afford. I'm so sorry, Max. The guy spoke in Spanish, and uh, I trusted him. Understood. All right. We'll take care of it. Another lie. It's going to cost them another 10K minimum to make their payments affordable again. Except, they'll never see my fees on any document. You're my man. I want to send my brother to you. He wants to buy a house. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, thank you for putting your trust in me. Oh. Great. So, we're all happy? Okay, double that. Listen to me! I am sick and tired of you yanking my chain! You tell me the rate's 6%, and then on my loan documents it says 7.5%, and now you're telling me that you had nothing to do with it! <laughs> well, I recall... Listen to me! I am tired of you, son of a bitch! I will fucking sue you! This is not the first time you've done oh, this Josh. to me! We have an emergency meeting. I need you in my office. Excuse me, I Bullshit! Go. Sit down! Chewy. What's up, man? Charlie. Yari. You don't pronounce the I. What are you doing staring at your phone? I can't close anybody. You still work at the Lumber Depot? Yeah. I need to redo my kitchen sink. You got any ideas? I would recommend stainless steel. It'll last you a lifetime. We have a special on it till the end of the month. Go at Swanson. They're the best in the business. If you order today, we'll give you free delivery and an in-store warranty. Mortgages. That's how you sell mortgages. These loans seem very risky. Exotic. That sounds like a strip club. You know, the details of these loans... Details? No details. Big picture. I used to help people. Therapy. Get some therapy. How rude. Excuse me. Excuse me, folks. To a great month. You broke the company records.
55 million in the pipeline sold this month. Not only do our Wall Street investors love us, they're giving away Bahama tickets, Costa Rica tickets, Hawaii tickets, all because of your wonderful work. And let us not forget our broker on record. Friends know him as G. You may know him as Joshua Goldberg. Bling, bling. That's right, baby. Keep on bringing it. Hi, Rose. Hey, Max. My favorite person from Prudent Lane. How are you? That's right. Don't you now forget it. Never. You guys sell the American dream with a picket white <laughs> fence affordable to everyone. That's our motto. We make the American dream affordable. Sounds good to me. Goldberg. I think I only saw three million of the 55 this month. I did 10 to 15 million with you boys. What happened? Wow. Rules changed. Whoever gives us the best margin gets the loan. Tell her, Max. He's got a point, Rose. I mean, the competition is doing it. Okay, you might want to talk to your boss. You look gorgeous. <laughs> it's all about points with you boys. You boys might want to share the wealth while you can before I change the rules on you. This is Joshua Goldberg, broke on record. He's a nobody. They use his name, broker license, give him a piece of the pie, and he's responsible for everything. Richard Casper, been in the business since the 90s. Wall Street kiss ass. He sells her funded pipelines of loans to the stock market, makes a killing on the back end deal. How you doing there, bud? Hey, nice speech. How are you, Sally? Well, I funded 15 loans this month. How do you think? <laughs> no wonder he's on your tail. <laughs> I think I need some air, gentlemen. I don't blame you. Wow. <laughs> You're married, right? Don't remind me. I made three points on the cell. 55 million. <laughs> it was actually 62. Seven mil, pure loss. And bonuses. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> what about Goldberg? <laughs> Bug Junior. <laughs> He'll take what I give him. Is it a cash out refi or rate in term? It's like 95% cash out refi. How much rebate do you want? Max, always Max. Max, stop. Stop? <laughs> Hell no. You gotta bring home the bacon, sweetheart. Okay, the, the rate's 8.25. Make sure you verify the job and get the number on those statements this time, okay? Oh, show. Sure. I'll have Lupe process it. You'll have it by Monday. Just get me that 24-hour approval you keep telling me I gotta about. Go. I need a better list. Mm -hmm. Hire FICO, better LTV. No, oh, I love it when you talk to me like this. Give me more. I need to meet your boss. I need to meet the middleman. tell you, your leads are just, they're the best I've ever seen. I mean, we were basically closing all of them. So is there something wrong with that? No, it's great. I just don't know, you know? No, I don't know. I don't know how long I can do this anymore. You're making great money, Max. What are you talking about? Oh, Max has a conscience. <gasps> Let me get Max's conscience. Those things are dangerous. <laughs> We're taking everyone for a ride here. This gravy train is gonna come to a stop. We're qualifying people that don't even have a job. We're making these transactions based on what we can make on each deal. 
They don't give a damn if they can make their first payment. Everyone's doing it. Do you think your office is the only one? That's the problem. Somebody called my own mother. Trying to refinance her home. I got on the phone, told her that they have a mortgage discount affiliation program, and that she should give them my social security to see if I can qualify. Yeah, I've heard it all. Get into an I.O., pay the interest only, no principal. Reverse mortgage, they screw you from the back and the front. Make a payment, your principal increases. Go negative every month, we could care less. We don't charge you any points, but we rape you with rebate. No doc, stated income, stated assets. I'm sorry, what do you do again for a living? On the 10 or 3, I'm a handyman. Oh, you're a handyman. I guess you don't need a business license for that, but I'm sure we can find a CPA who can verify something for us. Don't need any assets since we're going to state what you have in the bank. Now I know why you're so darn sexy. I thought it was just my leads. You guys are so cute together. What are you doing here? I wish I was doing what you're doing here. Casper. Casper the friendly ghost. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm not going to say a word. Hey. I thought I did good with Sally, but you, man, hey. You know, Tammy, you can come into my office anytime. I'll make you very happy. You're out of line, Casper. I'm sorry, I'm a rotten motherfucker, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I needed that. Listen, kids, there's no need to carry this discussion any further, you know? Had a little too much for lunch there, Casper. <laughs> Oh, come on. You're killing me here. Screw it. You boning him? I don't have to answer that. <laughs> That's more than I can say for my wife. Bitch took me for half everything I own. Got the IRS on my ass. Fucked up my credit. And now, I forgot we have an audit coming in next week. Oh. The real estate department wants to look at some files. What brought that up? Ah, it's routine. Nothing is routine. The system is set up with loopholes. When the going gets tough, the powers to be decide to look through those holes. And they always find something. It's been designed this way. Gotta go. Got the San Diego project. Get your clients ready. Pre-qual, baby. Pre-qual. Ms. Rodriguez? Ms. Rodriguez? Hi! <laughs> What's going on? Está muerto. Oh my god. How do you live with yourself? <laughs> How am I responsible for this? We trusted you. We believed in you. We thought you were one of us. <laughs> You lied, just like all of them. You are no different. <laughs> we lost our house. We lost our home. We lost everything. Our baby's college money. You gave us a loan we couldn't afford. <laughs> this is still my house. Get out of my house. <laughs> I said, get out. Get out. How does it feel to be responsible for somebody's death? How does that feel? You probably figured it out. We have an ongoing investigation with you and your, your company and other associates that are involved in the predatory lending practices. And I just want to thank you in advance for helping myself and Agent Richards out. I don't like you. Don't know who Agent Richards is, do you? I do want to thank you for coming in and helping us. I think you made a right decision. So what do you think? We can make this easy. Or we can make it hard. It doesn't matter to me. It's up to you. They didn't have anything on me. The points I charged were under the laws of Section 32. Everything was legal. I abided by the laws that they provided. I asked the captain, Why are the laws set so that the mortgage guy can charge a consumer up to five points and get away with it? 
he said. We don't make the laws, we just enforce them. Remember the loopholes? Yeah, well, there were a few documents that came through the art department at our office. Yes, we had an art department in a mortgage office. The ax came down on Casper for producing fraudulent loan documents. See you in court, Mr. Casper. What about the boys on Wall Street? The big boys that take their subprime loans and stick them onto their risky debt to create their CDOs? What about them? The boys on Wall Street came up with the rules of the game. They created the guidelines and refereed the results. When shit hit the fan, they covered their tracks with numbers and statistics. They can't be touched. They're an institution, not an entity. The whole crew and everyone involved was brought in under the investigation. XYZ lending. The feds were all over it. Tammy Richards had every broker she dealt with, and then some, by the balls with fraudulent documents. Some of the people getting the loans weren't even alive. Everyone went down. Better to go on record. He's dead, huh? Let's get on with this. Agent Richards. Before I became a mortgage guy, I sold door-to-door -door health supplies. G worked the door at a club. The rest of them were mainly used car salesmen. It all sounded great at the time. I mean, we were making money, good money. The office would close anywhere between 30 to 40 loans per month. On each loan, we charged a minimum of five points. Two in the front, three in the back, with an average loan amount of $400,000. $20,000 per loan times 40, that's $800,000 per month. $800,000 a month for the past four years. Give or take a few loans here and there, with some overhead, but that was minimal. It was beautiful, and it all came to an end. Today, a U.S. Senator has resigned his seat in the Senate. The name of the Senator has not yet been revealed to the public this time. However, sources have released the content of this letter, which is spread throughout Capitol Hill. The content of this letter read, After 30 years in the public service, in the face of the mortgage crisis, I have decided to resign my seat in the Senate today, to try and salvage what is left of my reputation. We, all of us, let the American people down. While we had dinner with industry lobbyists and took money from the real estate industry PACs, we let subprime lenders steal hundreds of millions of dollars from our constituents. Thousands have lost their homes and savings. One of every 29 mortgages in America have been foreclosed on. But 30% of all household mortgage debt is in delinquency. 30% of all Americans could lose their homes in the next one to two years. This will make Katrina look like a local rainstorm. The big Wall Street banks have lost 50 to $100 billion financing this debacle. Many are out of equity and cannot even make their loans viable. Where was the oversight? Where were we? Who should have seen this coming? Shame on us. We care more about our PAC money than we did about our own sworn duties, our honor, and our country. Only the kids in the military serving our nation seem to have lived up to their heritage, sacrificing themselves for our freedoms. May God help us. This is Mark Johnson, Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., TMG News.